If sine theta equals negative five-sevenths and theta is in quadrant three, we want to determine each trig function value. So to find these trig function values, we're going to model angle theta in the third quadrant, sketch the reference triangle for angle theta, then determine these trig function values. So if theta is in quadrant three, that means the terminal side must be in this quadrant here. So we'll go ahead and assume that this would be the terminal side of the angle. Now the reference angle for angle theta would be the angle between the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis, or this angle here, which we'll call theta sub r. So to form the reference triangle, we'll sketch a segment from the terminal side that's perpendicular to the x-axis, so a segment that looks like this. And now because we know sine theta is equal to negative five-sevenths, that means the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse must be negative five-sevenths. Remember, for reference triangles, the legs can be positive or negative, but the hypotenuse is always positive. So if sine theta is equal to negative five-sevenths, that means we can label the opposite side, negative five, and the hypotenuse, seven. But in order to find these trig function values, we'll also have to find the length of this leg here. And we can do this using the Pythagorean theorem. So if we call this x, we know x squared plus negative five squared must equal seven squared. So we have x squared plus 25 equals 49. Subtract 25 on both sides and we have x squared equals 24. And now we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. Remember, x can be both positive and negative, so we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 24, but 24 is equal to four times six, and since the square root of four is equal to two, we have x equals plus or minus two square root six. To determine the sign, remember we're in the third quadrant where the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate are both negative. Therefore, x is gonna be equal to negative two square root six. Now that we have all three sides of our reference triangle labeled, we can find these trig function values. Cosine theta will be equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative two square root six over seven. The secant of theta will be equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side, which would be seven divided by negative two square root six. So we have negative seven over two square root six but we're often asked to rationalize the denominators of these values, so let's go ahead and show how we would do that. We have negative seven all over two square root six. If we want our denominator to be rational, we don't want the square root six here, so we'd have to multiply by the square root of six over the square root of six. So we'll have negative seven square root six. In the denominator, we'd have the square root of six times square root of six is six times two, so that's 12. So we have negative seven square root six divided by 12. Now the cosecant function value is equal to the reciprocal of the sine function value. So if the sine function value is negative five over seven, then the cosecant function value would be negative seven over five. Or using our reference triangle, it would be the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side, or seven divided by negative five, giving us negative seven-fifths. Next, tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is negative five divided by negative two square root six. And since a negative divided by a negative is positive, we would have five divided by two square root six. But again, let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator. If we have five divided by two square root six, to eliminate the square root of six in the denominator, we'd multiply by the square root of six over the square root of six. So we'll have five square root of six all over. Again, square root of six times square root of six is six times two, that would be 12. So we have five square root of six divided by 12. And then for the cotangent function value, since cotangent is equal to the reciprocal of tangent, we can use the reciprocal of this fraction here to find the cotangent of theta it would be two square root six divided by five. 
or using the reference triangle, it would be equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, or negative two square root six divided by negative five, which would be positive two square root six over five. So when given a problem like this, we always want to model the angle and the reference triangle to determine additional trig function values. I hope this was helpful.